This is a Da Vinci Crayola board. It's 12 by 12, ultra smooth finish. Very important for alcohol inks. And um, what I've done is I've traced a circle with just a regular compass, right? And then um, I laid down some frisket um, masking. So, um, what is this? Let's Liquid latex is basically what it is. So I put down the fine line resist pen first around the circle and then around the edge of that, I took some monster liquid latex, poured it in a little paper cup and then went around the outer edge of my frisket line with that and kind of just pushed it up against that outer edge to make a good seal um, just to be safe and everything and give myself a good barrier for the alcohol inks that I'm going to lay down. So, and we're just going to play and experiment with it. Um, this is an exper this is um, inspired by, um, uh, what's her name, Veronica? Yeah, Veronica Mai. Um, my artistries, she did a napkin dip and then she went around, she traced a circle and she went around that with white paint and then she used the um, um, Hebio gilding kit, which I have around here somewhere, I don't have it on hand, but use this and a gilding paper and it was just, it was beautiful. I'll have the link for her stuff coming up. Let's go ahead and get on with our stuff. So I'm just gonna use a puffer today. I'm not gonna, I don't think I'll use this. I might if I wanna just dry it real quick. If I have too much alcohol on, then I'll dry it real quick. Uh, I kinda want it kind of sunset looking. So let's see, our colors are going to be rosewood and Ember and um, honeycomb. Really, three really pretty colors, all by Ranger Ink. So let's put some alcohol down in here. I use 99% isopropyl alcohol. I also have 99% isopropyl alcohol in a little needle bottle that I like to use and then I might pull this out and use this. This is um, bright gold and alcohol mixed together. It's a rich gold, I should say. Rich gold by Pinata and alcohol mixed together in this little bottle. And also have another Pinata, which is opal and that is really gorgeous stuff really pretty stuff I'm obsessed with this stuff um yeah I might add that just to give it more sh shimmer and shine but all right let's put our alcohol down there we go that should be plenty and then we're just gonna drop in some drops there we go. There's about four or five drops in that. I just want to kind of push it up and out. You can see the board is dry there, so I'm going to add a little bit more alcohol just to get that area wet. So I'm going to push in away from the circle first. Sorry if my big arms and fat hand get in the way of their beaming pleasure. See that is why I made it such a big border. See that? It would have completely jumped that original blue frisket line. So hopefully 
we pushed that liquid latex up to that frisket line well enough so that it's not going to leak in between. This is an experiment, so <laughs> I've never tried this except for on a tile. I did a tiny proof of concept on a tile and it kind of came out pretty cool. So, but this is the first time I'm trying it on something this big. And on a tile, it's easier to clean the outer edge. On the gesso, I am assuming it will stain a lot easier. I'm hoping it will, but I'm assuming it will. Hopefully it won't be bad. poofed it over and yeah blew it all to pieces all right so run some more alcohol down that way it back in again. <laughs> I want a little bit of purple up in here. Not sure yet. I love that red. And I think I want a little bit of purple too. So let's grab the boysenberry. Two drops ought to be plenty. Okay, all is not lost. All is not lost. Let me.
Comes the fun part. Ugh, if I can get my hair out of the way. <laughs> now I get to peel the latex up and hope that it didn't leak. Let me get to see how it went. Yee, this is fun. Uh, we got a little overshot there and over here. That was to be expected. Floating off camera here, aren't I? It worked out pretty well. Yee! <laughs> okay. So we just have to clean this up a little bit. And we'll be good. Stop, no, 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 no. 
it is all resin and I'm in love with it. Um, yeah, it was a process, but it was so worth it. Oh my goodness. Um, yeah, if you like it too, please let me know down in the comments and uh, do the likey subscribey thingies. Um, yeah. Uh, wait till you see a little bit of a close up. I put a little bit of the um, Color Art Bling It um, sparkling gold, little pigment dust, just the teensiest bit in the resin for the top coat and blinged it up even more. I am just so in love with this piece. Oh my gosh. I, I swear, I think this is the best work of art I've created in forever. I just, I love it. Love it, love it, love it. And I love inks, love the inks. So I think there might be an easier way to do this though. And um, I'll be showing that pretty soon, hopefully. Got a lot of work on the table going on right now, but um, we have a great train today. Our premiere train kicked off with Mina Villegas Art and goes from there. All the links are in the description, so please go check out everyone's art today. They do a great job for you and me. And until next time, loves and hugs y'all. Bye.